So some people ask me if you're gazing, sun gazing through your window, will that affect any health benefits? And uh, I think it's okay because uh, as long as your window is clean, you're still getting the full effect of the sun uh, through your eyes. I mean, if you place objects in the ho around the house in direct sunlight, eventually they will f fade in time. So the sun does uh, enter through the window, passes through the window, and you do get the benefits of the rays. So I don't believe it's a problem. Yes, uh, I'm doing it in the middle of winter. I'm not grounding, but I'm still noticing benefits from sun gazing. As soon as I start sun gazing, I feel more relaxed and calm. That's the first benefit. And uh, I remember when I was younger, I used to work construction and I used to be outdoors all the time. And uh, I was in the sun all the time. And I noticed very supernatural things occurring. Um, like one day I, when I was in my 20s, I was working in the sun a lot and uh, every morning when I would uh, clean up and take a shower and look in the mirror and all that stuff I would one day I was glued to the mirror of looking at myself and I saw myself age and uh, so I saw my future so some benefits are you can see the future and uh, when I saw myself age, I saw myself getting older, and then I saw myself reversing. I think to me this means that we will get to the fountain of youth. We will drink from the living waters. We will get to the touchstone, which is the center of the flat earth, Mount Meru, where when you touch the mountain, you become perfect. So I think this will happen. So I had this job where I was in the sun a lot and I wasn't even sun gazing. I was just working, but you know, I was out in the sun and I was looking at the clouds a lot, I guess, and I was uh, not even concentrating on sun gazing. But I think this was the effect that gave me some supernatural abilities. Just being out in the sun, I think even looking at the clouds when it's really bright, bright sunlight, you know, that even helps. Because, like I said, I had some supernatural abilities about uh, seeing myself, uh, seeing my future, seeing my face change. And um, I think this is attributed to the sun now looking back, because I didn't really do anything different than, I, I've, than I've ever done. Just that I was out in the sun more often that time, at that time of uh, my life. So, I think the sun gazing is a big help and does give you extra synthesis like they like I've mentioned in my other videos and I would go as far as to say that the sunlight gives you natural radiation you know how they give you radiation if you have cancer well sunlight I would go as far as to say sunlight through the eyes at sundown is similar to getting radiation it's a natural radiation and it's going to stimulate your brain to be healthy and it's going to give you all the healthy vitamins and healthy radiation that we need so I was go I would go as far to say that uh, the sunlight is the best medicate is the best medicine it's the best medication so the sun gazing will heal your body Make sure if it's too bright not to look directly at the sun. You know, look above it or below it. And, uh, but mainly do it at sundown for 30 to 40 minutes. And guys like David Icke and Alex Jones, well, they're royalty. Alex Jones is the Prince of Denmark. And I'm sure David Icke is a royal family member as well. And they never talk about Flat Earth because... They don't want you to find out about the exit hole. And uh, 
your Bible, all you people preaching the Bible, when has that ever brought heaven on earth? Now, a lot of people have asked me if you can do sun gazing through a window. And uh, yes, you can, because as long as it's not tinted, it's not a tinted window and, uh, you know, there's no blinds or something, you know, blocking it somehow. I mean, it's rel and it's relatively clean. Yes, you can get benefits from sun gazing through a window. You know, it's the middle of winter here. Uh, no one's going to go outside and do that. It's uh, like minus seven right now. Uh, with the wind, it's colder than that. And uh, But another thing you can do is at high noon or on a cloudy day, if you don't get a lot of sun in your area, you can make shapes in the clouds and you can like, gaze at the clouds and the reflected light off the clouds will, al will also give you the benefits of the sun. Um, and it won't hurt your eyes. Um, so that's another thought. I'm very convinced that sun gazing works off clouds. So you can also cloud gaze, you know, make shapes of faces. Uh, in the clouds, they make a shape. And uh, the reflected light will give you many benefits. And even when the uh, clouds have gone and it's a uh, very bright sun out, you can even gaze at the dome, at the clear blue sky. And uh, the reflected light will also give you some advantages. So these are some extra tips you can try if you get a lot of clouds in your area. Sun gazing at sundown or sun sunset is probably the best. Um, but these all are also beneficial. So. You know, I suggest you write on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and spill your blood on it, put a few drops of your blood and uh, upload it to YouTube, entitle it Blood Over Intent and search those videos, Blood Over Intent and, and see how it's done. And uh, we need to get a mass awakening happening so we can get to the center of the flat earth plane and get to the Holy Grail and get to our real bodies because right now we're asleep in a full wet suit with a helmet on and we're something like that and our real bodies are asleep and we're laying down in a chair or a pod and this reality is just a dream so right now you're dreaming and uh, we can't seem to wake up. The only way to wake up is to get to the center of the flat earth plane. So search Blood Over Intent and watch those videos and make your own Blood Over Intent and upload it to YouTube.